Renu Omokri has attacked Ruben Abati, a Rice TV host, asking what the son of the president, Sheyitun Tinumbu, does for a living. <laughs> this guy, eh? So now, so they tell they just they defend any, just they defend people. This guy not just get shame at all. He said about he asking such question on air, but uh, put a question mark on his status as a journalist. About he was reacting to Sheyi following his father to Qatar for a business summit. About he said, may we begin to ask what the president's children do for a living? I mean, by the time I was their age, I was doing something concrete. I got a PhD at 24. I wasn't even depending on any father. People must get to a stage in their lives when they hold themselves together. I don't even want adults behaving like inv invalids, hanging around just because your father is in the position. All these children of privileged people overdo it, and these are boys who would probably have wives at home. Some of these girls, what they go through is very embarrassing. You can't even have a husband that is just hanging around. Reacting to Abati's comments, Omokri said if he were the president of Nigeria at the time when the country is bitterly divided as a result of the Nigeria elections 2023 and the removal of wealth subsidy, as well as the flotation of the Naira, he would not take his children on an official business trip overseas. The only reason I would not do that is because the optics would look bad and I would be playing into the hands of my political opponents and hostile media, which have taken a business decision to oppose my administration to appease their base in preparation for the next election, he said. According to Omokri, having said that, legally, there is nothing wrong with it. Please, fact check me as Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher took her son, Mark Thatcher, to overseas UK business summit, Sir Mark Thatcher is a businessman, as is Sheyi Tinubu. Also, fact check me, President Obasan just similarly took his son, Benga, on a business summit while he was president. Benga is also a legitimate businessman. Omokri added that the current U.S. President Joe Biden took his son, Hunter Biden, on a business summit in China while he was vice president. And that former President Trump even made his daughter and her husband his advisors who frequently travel with him to business and political summit. The trip to Qatar was publicly billed as a business summit for which Nigeria businesses were meant to collaborate with Qatari companies. In fact, some critics even mocked the Tinubu administration when a letter leaked that the business summit aspects, aspects of the trip had been cancelled, which turned out to be a lie. Are you the... Even Ononoga said he's not even speaking. Even the presidency, the official spokesperson of Tinobu has not even said anything. So, because uh, Tasha did it, because uh, Biden did it, because uh, so you have to do it. No, why can't you say that uh, they should be... Those are the things that you guys will be pointing at. What about uh, the 247 electricity in those countries? Do you have it in your country? The way and manner at which politicians are misbehaving, is that the same way they are misbehaving in other countries? So when it comes to all those kind of things, and for the fact that they do it, so does it mean we have to, we have to do the same thing? And meanwhile, we were told that uh, they were going on a private visit. So why, when you talk about the hierarchy of people like that lined up, when the, the hosts were greeting the officials of uh, Nigeria, so the delegates, why did they put their, uh, put his son before the official um office order of uh, this uh, country why because this one is just talking nonsense we were told because nigerians argue that why should they be there they said they were going on a private visit so why was it official because it was official day. because you are saying nonsense he said i was surprised that one journalist today asked on live tv that what sheyi tinubu does for a living i may i may not like sheyi tinubu that journalist himself may or may not like sheyi tinubu but to ask what Sheyi Tinubu does put a question mark on your status as journalist. This is a young man who is involved in multiple known businesses. Uh, this guy, ah. People have been asking, how come did they, Jonathan appointed this guy as aide? And to the president's credit, he very, very publicly kicked against Tinubu, Sheyi Tinubu out of executive council. That's it to tell you that it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, he knows that it's not fair, but you are making excuses for him. If he had not, 
if Tinubu had not uh, kicked out his son out of that executive meeting, you would have, you would have uh, praised him as well. Yes, because that was not a business summit. That was a government meeting. Business summit. I, I, this guy, see, I see the way he's contradicting himself. When they were supposed to, they said they were going on a private visit. Then how did they find themselves on, uh, because it was official. All of them, they don't go on private visits. Other than the fact that Nigeria is currently very divided and the president should have avoided fire, being that he is covered in petrol, what he did is not wrong at all. You may insult me since you cannot fault, cannot fault me on the fact. You have already you are insulting yourself. Nobody needs to insult you. You are just insulting yourself. You are just insulting yourself. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Hmm. This is a good question from this man. What is what exactly business that Sheyi Tinubu is doing? Because I am real Lagos, Lagos man. So I was born in Shomolu, Ibutimeta. I want all Nigeria to ask Tinubu which work Sheyi Tinubu is doing. There is working. Where is he working and company name and address proof? You are right. Travel, follow Papa up and down. Pokata only remove shame from Tinubu, but to do business with Nigeria, forget it. It is pure light. Let's say the truth. And fact, no countries can do business with Nigeria with this. <laughs> Shein Tinubu is second Nigeria president. He achieved that because Nigeria is a confused people's country. We all know from which angle Ube Mabati is coming from, having been an unrepentant political bigot. <laughs> Obviously, Omokri is looking for a job with the government he said nigeria is divided honestly i'm interested in knowing how it's divided and the same you you are saying nigeria is divided the same you you are you have been dividing this country all your records are there so all the things that you have been saying your own is fat you only say you fat every other person is a is a divider who divides the country but you you have divided this country more than what we don't you know one cannot even see you are coming to say somebody is divided Oh, the country is divided. Who are the people who divided this country? Oga Omokre, why don't you advise Tinubu to always admit him into the Federal Executive Council meeting as well? Omokre, add more efforts and flair on your defense to Tinubu family so that he gets you appointed. Else, Onga will kill you. I know, say, to survive in Nigeria streets, eh? <laughs> more, 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 more. even the abroad way, they, you know, how much you want to make when they, they feel they make money for them. Go away, small-minded, small-headed Omokri. It is now certain that Omokri no way. This our brother is so desperate in search of appointment to an extent that he personally made himself Tinumbu household advocate. Now, wow, the Tinumbu made hardship has turned people who think right before to start thinking wrong, wrongly in order to survive. Omokri has been commenting on so many issues and positively so. Much on this particular case, I beg to disagree because democracy is not religion or culture that will have to be universal in its practice and including Obasanjo had done similar favor to Benga in your narrative. I also beg to disagree. President Obasanjo is above that petty act. Of course. <laughs> Some of you Yoruba say they uh, do a lie work. Maybe he now has a job as his father's PA. Mr. Mokri, what are you expecting from Tinubu? You can never give it, you can never get it. Just take the case of Asari Dukubo after all the media support for Tinubu. Where in day today? Where in day today? So, guys, I'll let's say your opinion and have your take on this. <laughs>